flood reached the sea, it sent sediments shooting out vast distances across the ocean floor. The Ice Age flood had left behind extraordinary scars on the landscape. This was once a waterfall, several times the width of Niagara. These are giant ripples formed by the turbulent flood water. And huge potholes were created by whirlpools that drilled straight down into the rock. The flood was so vast, it's difficult to imagine a catastrophe on this scale occurring today. But we now know that as the ice advanced and retreated during the Ice Age, there were lots of floods on this scale in many parts of the world. Since humans evolved, it's ice through glaciers, ice sheets and floods that has been a dominant force shaping our planet. But the greatest influence of ice relies on far more than brute force. That's because ice has some unusual properties that have a profound effect on the Earth's climate. I'm on the west coast of Greenland in what's known as Iceberg Alley. This is the biggest iceberg factory in the world. I've never been up this close to icebergs before. I mean, I know there are chunks of glacier that fall off the front of the ice sheet and they, they float here, but when you get this close, they're like majestic, beautiful ships floating silently by. This is known as an iceberg nursery. Most substances are denser when solid than when liquid, which means they sink. Ice is an exception. Because it expands when it freezes, it becomes less dense, and so it floats. It's also dazzlingly bright, which makes it highly reflective, and this combination has a dramatic effect on the Earth's climate. These two qualities, floating and reflecting, make ice uniquely powerful on Earth. Ice turns these polar regions into two giant reflectors. And they don't just reflect light, but heat. Land and sea are dark, so they absorb the sun's warmth. But ice reflects it straight back out to space. It's called the albedo effect. Filmed for a year from a satellite above the North Pole, you can see how the Arctic sea ice grows and shrinks with the seasons. This changes the amount of energy absorbed by the Earth, and this in turn can influence the climate right across the planet. So the amount of ice cover can have a dramatic effect on climate worldwide. One that may even have affected the path of human evolution. Fossils found all over Africa show how in the last three million years, there appear to have been two great evolutionary leaps forward. The first was the appearance of an ape man with a larger brain. Then later, came the evolution of Homo erectus, who was the first to make sophisticated stone tools. But what caused these rapid changes has always been a bit of a mystery. It now seems that they tie in with the two greatest advances of the ice sheets. Each time the ice advanced, 
more of the sun's energy was reflected from the planet. This contributed to more extreme climatic conditions around the world. In East Africa, home to our ancestors, the climate became unstable and unpredictable. In this fast-changing world, those who adapted best thrived. Both big brains and new weapons gave our ancestors an edge. Eventually, out of the climatic turmoil, modern humans began to emerge. If it wasn't for the recent ice age helping to drive climate change in East Africa, we might not be here at all. So what does the future hold for the planet's ice now that the Earth's climate is warming? A good place to find out is Greenland. Greenland is an island covered by the second largest ice sheet on the planet. On the west coast is the massive Jakobshavn Glacier. It's become the front line in scientists' attempts to understand what's happening to the world's ice today. Until as recently as 1997, the glacier was relatively stable. But since then, it's changed dramatically. In the last five years, it's retreated over six miles. It might seem strange, but the reason the glaciers retreated so much is because it started flowing faster. The Jakobshavn Glacier is now moving at over 130 feet a day, the fastest in the world. The faster it flows, the thinner it becomes. This weakens the ice, causing it to break up. The result? The fjord is jam-packed with ice that has broken off the front of the glacier and is drifting out to sea. Filmed over three months, it's possible to see just how much of Jakobshavn's ice is floating away. These are worrying signs, and they're completely changing our understanding of Greenland's ice. And it's not only the Jakobshavn Glacier, there are other big glaciers along this coast that are also speeding up. This could lead to the eventual disappearance of all of Greenland's ice, 10% of the world's total. If that were to happen, it could raise sea levels by at least 20 feet which would flood many of the most highly populated regions of the world. Florida would be one of the worst places to suffer. The northern coast of Europe would be barely recognizable. Much of London would disappear. So not surprisingly, Scientists are eager to find out what's happening to Greenland's ice as global temperatures continue to rise. Well, the landscape is very special, as you can see, and on top of it, it never gets dark. Yeah, I know, the sun. I've joined up with Connie Steffen. We're on a part of the ice sheet that's connected to the Jakobshavn glacier. Connie's trying to understand what's causing the ice to speed up and break off into the sea and whether it's related to climate change. The ice moved fast, at first by 10%, then by 2002, 30, 40%, and it produced more water, like this river, and this water is probably